it's Annie. Welcome to another episode of the You Only Live Once Life and Business Innovation Style Meditations, Yummy Conversations. I'm Hani and here to bring to you another episode so that you can be yummy in your body while you live yummily in your life. I'm right now in Sanya, this beautiful place in China. And I'm here today to talk to you about five ways and examples of personal growth. Because as you know it, personal growth is one of the biggest topics on how you can transform not only your life, but also make you happier and allow you to be a lot cooler in terms of just feeling like you're on the right track in your life and that you are connected to your highest good and that you are on purpose and you're in a place of optimal satisfaction. And of course, like if you're feeling a little bit unsatisfied or just a little confused or sometimes even a little bit curious about where you can grow because you love this topic and you've landed here, then these will really, really help you. And this applies not only in your life, but also your career and in all of the things that really matter to you. And so without further ado, I'd love to share with you the first way of personal growth and examples for that. And that's through relationships. A lot of times the place where we grow in the most and we have the most growth potential is times where things don't go our way and things actually happen and they break or um, whatever happens that is not what you expected, like someone passing away or a big thing happening like an accident or you've been broken up with or you lose your job or something like that, like a big transition point is always a really good time to grow. And especially in terms of relationships when there's a big conflict and a relationship ends, whether that's romantic or in business, it's a really good time to start reflecting on yourself. And so especially if you're having that right now in your life, reflect on it and see what kind of lessons there are for you to grow from this today. Whether that is changing the way that you communicate, maybe there's a part that you can take responsibility for, and maybe there's a way for you to learn how to be different in the next phase. And sometimes if it puts you into a really bad space, then it's also understanding how you can get out of that space, and that may be your lesson. So if you're finding this at a time in which you are just going through these kind of conflicts or places in which you're not really sure of what's next and how to move forward, especially if there are some negative feelings around that still in your brain, then that means that this is a really good opportunity to just learn on how you can overcome that. The second way of uh, personal growth and a different personal growth example is a psychological growth. And that's very similar in terms of understanding your emotions as well. So this happens often when you feel like there's something in your mind that you just can't put down. And this comes up if you can't sleep very well, if you're constantly finding that you're worrying, you're feeling anxious, you're not feeling like you're able to be present with the person in front of you wherever you are. And you're always thinking about what you don't have instead of what you do have. Or you may be feeling that you know there are certain things in your life that are just not in the right positions. And here, what you can see is that you can actually observe what it is that's actually holding you back. There's actually, there's something that's holding you back or there's something that is just not quite right and it's just not ideal for you. And at this point, it's a psychological thing. It might be a pattern of viewing things or perspective that you're looking at it in a way that's really making it feel very tense honor that. You don't have to beat yourself up about it or put that extra pressure on yourself. And this happens a lot when you really want to come to a decision or you really want to force yourself to perform in a certain way. And, um, and you're able to really just kind of honor that pattern of behavior that you have exhibited and see where it shows up in the past as well. Like how often do you get into a zone like this and kind of realize and grow and transform from it. And these patterns, psychological patterns, and what I mean by that is that if something happens, then you react this way. So let's say if you have an unknown in front of you or if you have, you realize that, you know what, actually this is the right decision or I have one decision that I feel that I'm very interested in, but you constantly choose the decision that is safe instead of the one that's more true and in integrity to your own self, then there are patterns that you've got to break in order to get a different outcome. So the psychological pattern that you have to break, think of what is the psychological pattern that you've got to break right now so that you don't repeat the same kind of outcomes that you've been having all your life. What can you grow from? Growth is not about staying the same and creating the same outcomes. Growth is creating a new outcome, a new possibility, something that you might not even actually know about. 
And so the third one is all about connection. There's a huge opportunity in your personal life and also your business life or your career life and your family life as well to connect on a deeper level with people. One of the key things in actually living and enjoying life is about the type of intimate connections that you form, whether that is with people that you care about the most or with people that are just your loves, right? And and even for people who you don't know and strangers, the more you can connect with them on an intimate level, the more fulfillment and meaning you can find from life. So where is it that you can open up a little bit more and connect a little bit deeper with people you already trust? And where is it that you can allow more of that to unfold as well? And that's a really, really, really enjoyable piece if you really value connection. And the fourth place in which you can find personal growth is, is where can you find more freedom? Whether that is in your time or your money, or whether that is in the way that you spend your time and the way that you spend your energy, where can you find more freedom? Because when you don't have the freedom to be who you are and to do the things and say the things that you really want and that feel very connected to you, then there isn't really a way for you to feel that, you know what, this life is really lived for you, you know, and it's just really, really, really sweet when you're able to experience and fully embrace the type of freedom that you can possibly have in your life. And that freedom is a freedom of being, a freedom of physical body, perhaps a freedom of relationships, the type of intimacy you want to form wherever you go, the freedom of impacting the world, maybe if you have an impact that you want to do. How much freedom do you have right now to do the things you want to do in your life? And are you happy in this level of freedom? And if you don't and you're not, then find a way to increase that freedom today. And the last thing is the ability to go for what you truly desire. And when you can honor, and that's just a really important personal growth point, like the fifth one is when you can truly honor what your true north is, and that changes from day to day, right? Like your real and integrity, like your real and integrous answer on a day to day you have a bigger mission that's the one that you are constantly adjusting and focusing on. However, there's also one that is on a day-to-day -day basis when you're connected to the higher self, when connected to a place where you feel secure, you feel safe, you feel very calm and you just feel supported no matter what kind of negative things the world throws you or what kind of people the world throws you what kind of worries and anxiety that you have there's always a place of harmony and optimization and just balance and if you're able to continuously face your fears and courageously to step into the next stage of your life and the next level of your life then you will feel a lot more supported by the world and you really will feel the sense of you know what I've lived a very fulfilling life so where is it in your life that you can become even more true to yourself? And I encourage you to do something in order to feel even more true. Maybe it's in your friendships. Maybe it's in the work that you choose to do. Maybe it's in the way that you spend your time or the way that you just want to draw boundaries so that you can keep your time and energy to yourself. Whatever that is, Pick one and just start doing it right now because that is what's going to give you more freedom and more growth than you've ever imagined before, especially if you consistently put attention and love onto it. If you like this, give me a like, subscribe, of course, and I'd love to hear what other videos you'd like in the comments below. And this is some personal growth exercises for you. I'd love to hear which example was one that supported you the most and which one you've taken forth with you. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.